The Jungle Cruise is a movie starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Emily Blunt and a film based off the ride at Disneyland, which is pretty cool because I was just at Disneyland yesterday. So today I'm going to review it. Tell me in the comments if you've seen it and if so, did you like it? Now sit back, relax, and let's begin. And to start off with the good, I thought this was a nice adventure film starring two actors from the last five years has been some great movies and probably some of my favorite actors from the last five years. And they do a very good job here. This film is a lot of fun. It's supposed to be just a, this nice adventure film that supposed to be very funny and the actors do a very good job and you go to a lot of places so it's a very nice uh, adventure film i thought the comedy was good it's a very funny film some of the jokes do not fly but the ones that do are really good all the actors do a very good job and have a lot of banter with each other and all put a lot of comedy into their roles i thought the chemistry between the two main leads uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, of course, and Emily Blunt. Probably some of my favorite actors from the last five years. And they do a very good job here. I thought Jesse Clemens was good as this German guy who's trying to get the same thing our two main characters are trying to get. And as I said, this is a very funny film. The whole theater was really laughing out loud in this movie oh, while watching this movie. It also has a lot of nice references to the ride. Now, of course, it is an original movie. It does have an original story, which I really like about it. But it also has a lot of references to the ride. Now, that was the good, but there's also some bad stuff in there. So let's go on to the bad. And, of course, one thing to talk about is that the villain, you know, that CGI guy who is trying to get revenge to Dwayne Johnson's character. It's just this boring CGI rendered villain who doesn't really have that much of a character or just shows up to be this myth mythical creature who is just very CGI and doesn't really have that many scenes. So even though he kind of does have a, has some involvement with the plot and is supposed to be a big part of the plot. I just don't think he is that much of an uh, interesting villain. Also, the action is surprisingly bad. I mean, once you see these commercials where the two actors talk about how good the action is and how great the stunts are, that is not true. I mean, I'm sure it is good, but the editing... The way it's edited, it's just really fast and the scenes go much faster than they should have. So the editing is really bad and you can barely see what the hell is happening. So the action is just really bad because of the way it's edited. It basically does have a lot of good stunts. The action here is just edited in such a bad way that I can barely enjoy them. It's supposed to be very familiar, probably because it's basically like Pirates of the Caribbean. It's a very familiar adventure story. I mean, it's not entirely supposed to be a Pirates of the Caribbean knockoff, but really it's familiar to a lot of other adventure movies. It, it's supposed to be your generic a film that's supposed to have some action and it's basically just characters trying to get this thing that is supposed to break a curse. But that is it for the bad, so let's go on to our final ranking. And I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10, or more specifically a 7.8 out of 10. For me, I thought it was a fun and very funny adventure film where the actors do a good job and have a lot of chemistry with each other. It just has a lot of problems. It's supposed to be very familiar, which even though not really being a bad thing, sometimes you just want this generic adventure film. So it's just very familiar. There's a lot of CGI in it. 
a very bad fake out death and even though not not really having bad stunt work it's edited in such a way that you can barely see what's happening so the action is really bad so it has its flaws but i still think it's a very fun action film so 8 out of 10. and thanks for watching this video please subscribe and click the bell if you want to see more from me this has been Schofield Studios, where you're the audience, and cut.